welcome to this uh, C++ coding session. In today's class we'll be uh, discussing the use of for loop, while loop and do while loop in C++ or using C++. So basically looping structures are used to iterate or to repeat certain uh, 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 statements, certain task again and again. Uh, so in such cases we use the different type of loops and commonly used type of loops are for loops, while loop and do while loop. So let us try to do an example here. In this example what we want is we want to display all the numbers between 1 and 100. Uh, I mean both included you know 1 and 100 included uh, using for loop, while loop and do while loop. So we'll do one by one. So the first instruction is a hash, hash include uh, command line IO stream. As we already understood, uh, IO stream stands for the input output uh, command line. Normally, it supports all the input output operations with the computer. Using namespace std is a, uh, the statement which is used to help us to have our own or the user defined uh, functions. Uh, void main is the main part uh, of the C, uh, C, uh, C++ uh, program. So the essential content or the main content of the program we are going to write within these two opening and closing braces. So let's start. So let us assume that uh, we are defining one variable uh, int n. Then I am using a loop here for n is equal to 1 because I know the starting number is 1 and n is less than or equal to 100 because ending number is uh, 100 and n plus plus. Then within the bracket, I'm going to write here C out. I just want the value of n and uh, I just want to get the value displayed with a tab button so that these numbers are going to be printed or it will be printed like one by one along the row. System pose is uh, used to, to just to hold the uh, output screen and we press a key. So let us try to run the program and see the output. Okay, we can see that the uh, uh, output uh, values will be from 1, 2, 3 and 4, I mean 1, 2, 3, 4 and continue until 100. Uh, which means uh, after 1 uh, the cursor you know jumped uh, by tab then again after 2 the cursor will jump by tab and so on. So this is the way of how the uh, display is obtained. If you want the same display uh, like in a line so it's better to use the end line command. So if you use end line command the same thing will be printed like lines. So in this case we can find it is like a column. The one column uh, that one column start value is 1 and the ending value is 100 starting value is 1 and the end value is 100 here. Okay, so this is how we have done uh, uh, this program using uh, for loop. Now, same problem that can also be done by uh, uh, while loop. So, let's see how we are going to do here. So, let us start in, you know, initializing the value n is equal to 1 because we know the starting point and we are using a while loop here while n is less than or equal to 100. So, the condition is the value of n uh, as long as the value of n is with you know within or up to 100 including 100 uh, certain task has to be done so this particular statement has to be repeated again and again and once the condition become uh, exceeding you know 100 then uh, the control has to jump you know out of the loop so in this case in order we have we, we have the initial value and we have the condition uh, but in this case what is essentially is required is we need to increment it because every time it print one number it has to be incremented. So if you compile the I mean run the program let's see what is the answer we are going to getting the, we are getting the same answer like before. All the numbers is printed from 1 to 100. Now if you want to get the same display on a, uh, along the row probably you can use slash t. Slash t means tab. So I will come back and run the program again and we will find the same answer here. Okay. If you want to get this value, I mean, to be printed for large numbers, for example, 1000, you can use the same code here. So, we will get 
you know all the thousand numbers that is be displayed in a the screen here so you can find that you know this already the screen is crawled just because you know the uh, the whole thousand numbers cannot be displayed in a single screen so automatically now sc scrolled okay so this is the uh, first part of the program second part of the program the same thing which you have done by using while statement now I'm going to do the same thing by using do while so here the difference is we just uh, you know ins insert a statement uh, do then followed by certain statement and the end we have a while statement the while statement what is important is uh, there should be a comma I mean the semicolon there must be a semicolon here so it is a must that you must have a you know you must keep a semicolon here but after the do statement it should shouldn't be any uh, uh, semicolon because it shows that the following statement are part of the do okay so from the starting point until the ending point all the statement inside will be executed n times that n is depends upon the number that we fix here so this program also will give you the same result all the numbers from 1 until 1000 now let us uh, look at another uh, program uh, in this program we are trying to uh, display the multiplication table for a uh, given uh, input number the number entered by the user so what we want is uh, the user supposed to enter any integer number and uh, a table a multiplication table for the the entered number will be displayed and we are assuming that the upper bound or the upper limit of the numbers or the number of iterations is limited in this case to 10 so let's start so first we are going to uh, declare one variable for the input to accept which I'm going to assume as uh, the input uh, let's say X and I also need one index for the uh, loop I mean for the iterations which is n here so let's start for n is equal to 1 n less than or equal to 10 n plus 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 okay then what I want is I just want to display the multiplication table so what I want is see out so first thing is I was just want to display actually I'm expecting the output should be in this form that 1 times 1 into for example if the given number is uh, 10 so 1 into 10 is equal to 10 this is the format I want so to get that so first I want the n value followed by I want a cross which uh, probably I want it I can use this one into so I'm going to place that one here so 1 is here which is n star is already here because this is an echo echo statement whatever within the bracket I mean double quote it will be displayed followed by 10 10 is nothing but the, the value that is entered by the user which is x then I want an equal sign then so up to here is done then 10 is something but the product of n and uh, the given value so which means n multiplied by the given value x then after that I we just need an inline statement here so let's see what is the uh, output here but before that we supposed to insert one question here which means enter any integer number to get the max table or multiplication table okay so n is already uh, defined n is equal to 1 so this is supposed to be semicolon here I think fine so if you run the program so probably we have some errors we have to fix the errors yes scene statement is missing so we need the scene statement scene supposed to be x so when you run the program we got the first question enter any integer number to get the multiplication table suppose if I say f 6 
then I'll get the table like this you know 1 times 6 equal to 6 2 times 6 equal to 12 and so on up to 10 times 6 equal to 60 if you want to extend the range I mean the upper upper limit to 100 so we can do the same thing but in this case the number will be repeated I mean the uh, number of times it is the, the equation going to be repeated will be 100 so for example if it is 7 it is going to repeat it until 100 from 1 so 1 7 until 100 into 7 is equal to 700 now if you want it you know different format for example I want the format supposed to be in this way so here it will get in a different format the output format is different in this case for example if I am entering 13 so it will display the output in this particular format where 1 times 13 is equal to 13 uh, 2 times 13 is 26 and so on so this is also possible now let us try to uh, solve uh, a modified type of uh, program in this program what we try to do is uh, we want to display all the numbers you know which is uh, 1 to 10 the multiplication table for all the numbers from 1 to 10 and each number that is to be repeated uh, you know uh, for 20 iterations the meaning is uh, the first number is uh, 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 1 so 1 times 1 is equal to 1 1 times 2 is equal to 2 and so on this will be repeated 20 times then after that the table of 2 then after that table of 3 after that table of 4 table of 5 and so on so in this case uh, since there are two uh, things that is iterating you know I mean two uh, loops are going to run so first loop I'm just keeping for the table and uh, second uh, index I'm keeping it for the iterations so this I'm going to keep for the iterations which is uh, 20 and for uh, the table number I'm just keeping a variable x and x is starting from uh, 1 x less than or equal to 10 x plus plus so since it is uh, you know uh, two loops I'm just keeping it uh, it's in this in this particular manner so this is the outer loop the outer loop carries 1 until 10 so 1 and 10 is included now the inner loop is from 1 to 20 so 1 and 20 is included and uh, see you know uh, there is no change in the CO statement and here I'm using two system posts because uh, the first system post is uh, to show uh, you know the table of uh, what you call a number first number and then uh, if you want to get the second uh, the table of the second number you just you know enter uh, a key so when you enter the key it will move you know from one number to the next number and so on so let's let's see uh, how the program works so I run the program so the first screen is giving uh, the table of 1 so 1 times 1 is 1 2 times 2 is 2 and so on so it is repeating for 20 times so 20 times 1 is 20 this is the uh, the first table let's see the second uh, ta uh, second second table you know to get the second table we supposed to enter so when I enter it I'll get the second table which is 1 times 2 is equal to 2 2 times 2 is equal to 4 and so on up to 20 times 20, 2 is equal to 40 now I'll get the third table the table of 3 uh, 1 times 3 up to 20 times 3 is 60 and this is the fourth table then we have the fifth table sixth table table of 7 7 eighth table table of 9 table of 10 so table of 10 means what already we have done all, all the uh, says I mean all the uh, table I mean all the uh, the uh, you know numbers we can find that 20 times 10 is equal to 200 the next one you know you will find one more uh, press any key to continue because we have already done all the iterations so that's it so this is way of how we can get all the uh, numbers tables of the all the numbers uh, between 1 and 10 for 20 iterations okay now we'll uh, look at another variety of question in this question uh, the we want a multiplication table for a specific number within lower and upper uh, limits so the user should enter the desired number the lower limit and upper limit example if the user is centered 12 10 and uh, 20 which means that we are going to get the table of uh, 12 starting from 10 until 20 so the first number supposed to be 10 times 12 which is 120 and the the ending number supposed to be what the end number supposed to be 20 
times 12 which is equal to 240 so let's see how we are going to make this program so let's start so again uh, we need a number which is uh, supposed to be x then we need the lower limit and also we need the upper limit so we'll ask the question here first see out enter any integer number to get the table to max table and line we use c in for x same way we want to get c out enter the lower limit and also we have to go for upper limit I want C in upper and here C in lower okay now so the uh, it's you know we declared the variable and we just uh, ask for the input number the lower limit and upper limit now we want to repeat the the table from the lower number to the upper number so we are using a for loop here for loop and for loop we need a you know index so just I'm defining that index is n so let's say n starting from lower I want to start from lower number then I want to go until less than or equal to the upper limit each case I have to increment by one okay then what I require is I just want to display the table so here low uh, n uh, the lower number which is n okay suppose I want the output to be in this form n star equals n times the value x because x is the, the input number so n times x equals n times x UNDL. so let's see here so n means what the iterations star exactly you know it will be displayed x means the input value we entered equal will be displayed as it is n into x means the actual value here so let's see what is the output of the program so here enter any integer to get the multiplication table let's say we want a multiplication table for 23 then enter the lower limit I want from 10 and enter the upper limit I want up to 20 so it display all the numbers from 10 uh, times 23 is 230 and up to 20 times 23 is equal to 460 so I want to repeat the same program I mean same uh, with another value for example I want the multiplication table for 6 I want to start from 12 until uh, I want 50 so if you want 12 until 50 so it will be like this so 12 is the starting number and we'll find the last number is you know 15 times 6 which is 300 okay so this is the structure of the program I mean the code okay so in this program we'll uh, try to display the value of an exponentiation function exponentiation uh, dk function which is uh, y is equal to one uh, exponentiation of uh, e to the power minus x where the value of the x uh, is lies from uh, point 0.1 until uh, 1 or including 1 with the steps of 1 0 1 okay so this is uh, basically an special mathematical function so the what is uh, you know, is required as a header file we need as, as include cmath we just want to add cmath in the beginning so that we support the uh, the mathematical operations specific you know, specialized mathematical operations like exponentiation 
So in this case, uh, we know uh, we are certain about the uh, starting and ending point. So I'm going to declare a variable float here because the uh, the 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 x value range between point one to one with the steps of point zero one. So I'm just defining a variable which uh, float x. Then I'm going to start from four x starting from point one and the value of x supposed to be less than or equal to 1 with the steps of x equal to x plus 1, 0, 1. So here this is the starting point and this is the ending point and this is the increment here. Now in each case you know what I want is I just want to find out the uh, display the value of y. So in case if you want to calculate y separately we can do that but sometimes we just want to display only. So in this case I'm just using only display so c out I'm just calculating the value of y so c out what is required is we want to calculate exponentiation of uh, minus x that value has to be displayed with end line so this is very simple uh, display where it displays the value of a you know exponentiation of minus x you know like uh, along the column so let's see how what is the output We are getting in all the numbers it is split this shows you the value of all the exponentiation value but this table is not very uh, you know informative so to make it more uh, uh, understandable so let us try to uh, modify a little bit so let's say I'm going to make one uh, uh, title for example I'm going to say here is x value x followed by I'll put slash t followed by I'm going to say value of y y so we have x and y then we'll go for end line followed by I'll put some stars here then So let's see what is the difference here. Here also what I'm going to do is I just want to display x. I'll put a tab and see the difference now. So the, the output is now different because we have got two columns now. The first column indicate that the x value and the second column is indicated the, the value of y. So we can just modify a little bit so this program will give you the x value and the corresponding y value on a tabular like a column column form so we have the x value here and we have the y value here for all the values of uh, what you call x starting from point 1 until 1 in steps of point 1 1 So in this question, uh, in this problem, we'll try to make code uh, that asks for a four-digit number, integer number, and uh, then it displays some of its digits. For example, if the input is one, two, three, four, then the expected answer is supposed to be ten. Why? Because we want to add the sum of these digits: one plus two plus three plus four. In other words, if the uh, input is 2, 3, 4, 5, it adds 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5, so you'll get 14. So let's see how we are going to uh, do this uh, program. So here we need from the you know inputs from the user side, we are expecting uh, one input. Okay, so let us try to make that input. It's an integer input, and we want to make sure that it is a 4D number. So let's say in this n. And uh, we just want to enter that number, so enter any four digit. And we just want to uh, confirm, I mean, uh, assure that this number is a four-digit number. So as you know that a four-digit number 
normally the minimum number is 1111 and uh, the maximum number suppose be 9999 so this is the range so sorry the minimum number is 1000 and the maximum number is uh, four nines okay so that is the basic limit so we have to make sure that number is within that so we are just using one if statement here if the n if it is less than 1000 or the value of n is greater than 9999 then what we want is we have to retype or re-enter re re the input so we should say here see out and date number is invalid please try again so I'm keeping it here so this will be uh, done then I'm just re re redirecting you know to let's say a point called let's say start So we have a point called start here. Start is supposed to here. So what is going to happen is as long as this condition is satisfied, any of the condition either is less than thousand or greater than nine nine nine, the automatically the program will be you know returned back. If you want, we let us try out whether it's working fine or not. It's only the first part of the program. So let us try to enter uh, one uh, input number. Let us say for example it is twelve. 12 is not a four digit number so we are getting the answer I mean the display and date number is invalid please try again so again it is asking for another number suppose if I am trying 1 2 3 it's also not a valid number so if I say 1 2 3 4 yes it is a valid number so this part is working fine so if the number is fine then only the program will be executed here I mean the program I mean the, the remaining part of the program will be executed so this will uh, uh, you know check whether the given number is within the uh, what you call the uh, four digit uh, limits which means the starting number is uh, 1000 until 999 any number below 1000 or any number beyond 999 will be you know uh, outside the range so once you have done this then we supposed to uh, clear one more extra variable I'm just going to create one n1 here and I'm just keeping that n1 is uh, in a safe place which is n so that value is already preserved now what I'm trying to do I'll do a job here you know I mean a specific task here let's see what I'm going to do it here so the first job is I'm keeping one uh, location called sum defining initializing a location a variable sum with value 0 then I'm going to do sum is equal to n percentage 10 so here what I'm trying to do sum is equal to sum plus n percentage 10 what is n percentage 10 n percentage 10 is nothing but is a reminder operation so let's suppose we have our number let us assume that our number is uh, input number which is n is equal to 1 2 3 4 right so in this particular case what's going to happen if you're doing 1 2 3 4 percentage 10 will give you the result 4 which means that it's a reminder operation so what does it mean sum is equal to sum plus n percentage 10 ultimately what we want is we want to add 1 2 3 and 4 one after the other so here in, by this uh, particular statement this particular statement will extract you know the first digit the lower uh, uh, significant uh, digit will be extracted and that which will be 4 and that 4 will be added to the sum and sum is already declared as 0 so 4 is already added so that is this particular job then after that I'm going to do is what n is equal to n divided by 10 what will happen when you do this one n is a variable which is already integer type and if you are going to divide by 10 what is going to happen is assume the same number 
n which is 1 2 3 4 if you divide by 10 the answer is supposed to be 1 2 3 why 1 2 3 because it is a already is declared as a integer number so since it is integer number the 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 fraction part will be trunk i mean it will be removed so as a result you know we'll get our number is what 1 2 3 so what does it mean now we got a number uh, which is uh, i mean uh, four digit number become a three digit number and already we have extracted that you know the the lower uh, bit or the lower uh, digit so what is required now we have to do the same job right so what i want is i want to do the same job while there is a condition that i want to repeat the the entire job until the value of n is greater than 9 which means what if the number is about two digits the number has you know two digits i mean 9 or above sorry uh, above 9 means 10 10 I mean the two digit number so if the number is a two digit number then we have to repeat the, the task I mean the whatever you know the within the uh, while loop if the uh, the the number the current number of I mean the number which is stored in n if it is nine or less which means that only one digit is there so no need to do the further division here okay so I hope you know this point is clear so again I'll repeat while n less than equal to 9 means what this particular job has to be repeated again and again until the value of uh, value is uh, 10 11 and any other number you know any number above 9 if it is uh, uh, if this condition is not satisfied what does it mean which means that the digit is only a single digit number okay then what's going to happen in this case this will uh, keep doing the job so the next iteration what is going to happen we will have 123 and 3 will be extracted then it is going to be divided by 10 then we will get 12 next time uh, again the same process will repeat so the 2 will be extracted and it is going to be divided by again 10 so we will get 1 so that 1 is not going to be further you know uh, propagated because the limit is already reached so what is going to happen now we manage to add the first three digits actually you know two three four is added and one is not yet added so what we want is we want to add that last digit which is again i'm going to say is equal to what sum is equal to what sum plus the last value of n which is uh, nothing but the uh, one in this case so what is going to happen this is just because of you know we put the limit is n greater than nine so the this particular task of adding or summing and dividing is going to happen only if the value of n is 10 and above if it is less, less than 10 what is going to happen it is jump out of the loop and when it come out of the loop what we have in our sum three numbers will be added you know would have added you know uh, to the uh, uh, sum value but what is remaining this one is not added so that's why i'm using the last statement uh, sum is equal to sum plus n now what I need is I just want to display the sum value so see out sum of digits for the given number and this number is already saved in a location called n1 so I just want to know n1 is this answer is supposed to be some here and and line here okay so let's try to run the program and see whether it is uh, working or not so the first job is we have to make sure that the number is within the limit so even if i enter a wrong number you know i mean the number beyond the or beyond or below the limit it you know it will ask you to uh, enter the number again so i'm just entering one two three four now when i enter one two three four i'm getting some of the uh, digits of the given number is 10 which is correct actually you know 1 plus 2 plus 3 4 3 plus 4 is equal to 10 for example if i repeat again and uh, for example if i enter 1 1 1 1 what do you expect 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is supposed to be 4 so i'm getting the answer is 4 now suppose if i'm entering like 2 2 2 2 which is uh, supposed to be 8 and uh, if i'm entering for example uh, for example 6 4 6 and 4 so this will give you 20 so it's working like you know 20 so this particular program uh, I mean code that will help us to uh, you know to sum up all the digits in a particular number and then it will give you the sum some value so for a four digit number the summation of all the individual digits you know can be 
obtained by using this program okay anyway thank you for uh, watching this video if you have any uh, uh, doubts please communicate thank you very much